Hello, Stevie Rex here, and today we've got a pretty awesome video here. Now, if you remember back in the days of Dissidia Duodecim, I used to love doing one thing within Dissidia Duodecim, and that was music mods. Now, I love making music mods for years and years, and I love changing all the different musics. Well, today, thanks to the PC port of Dissidia NT that recently came out, we can now do the same with that game. Firstly, I would like to say thank you for Seren for finding this method um, on how to change the music. So this is just going to be a quick guide on how to modify music in Dissidia NT. And the results should be something like this. So now we're on the desktop itself and let's go through the process of actually adding the music. So in this example, um, I'm going to be showing you how to um, edit Seymour's um, battle theme rearranged from Dissidia NT um, because I'm personally not a fan of that remix at all. I think it's horrible. I personally think it's one of the worst versions of Seymour's theme. So we're going to replace it with the battle against Aqua from Kingdom Hearts 3. So I'll put a link in the description to everything you need. It's going to contain a notepad. Um, or I'll provide a link to a document which we are slowly updating with details of where all the files are um, and it shows you the files of every um, song that is available in NT. Um, the only tip I will personally give when finding files, if you still need to find some yourself, is every song from 900 onward is either NT menus or cutscene related from story mode. So don't edit anything 900 or beyond, it's just a race of time. Um, anything from around the... Anything... Everything from 101 is all the original remixes and original... All from the... All the songs from 101 are the original remixes that came with NT at launch. And each five from here represents a new game. And generally, it goes from the top of their list to the bottom of their list. There is a few exceptions to this, however. So this is the first song that you can input from Final Fantasy 1. And then 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this one here will be the start of FFI's remix song list. These are specifically remixes only. Their original versions are in their own section which you need to find which we still yet to find. But I have found where all the remixes that originally came with Decilia NT are. So that's where the first song is. And each five song is from every game. The only game that's not included is Final Fantasy 15 because that's nearer to the bottom because they got added just before NT launched. So the ones from Final Fantasy 15 are quite a way further down. Um, but everything from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy 14 plus Type 0 and Tactics are in this list for every five. So like I said, we are going to edit CMOS file. So the first thing you need to do is find where your Dissidia NT install is. So that's quite easy. Um, you just go to wherever your games are installed on Steam. So for me, it's the SSD, um, program folder, then Steam. And then once you're in the Steam folder, it's Steam Apps, Common. And then there'll be a folder specifically for Decilia Final Fantasy NT3 Edition. And then the Common folder, this will contain all the files related to the game. And then all you simply need to do is search for the specific file that you want and then boom there's a file you need to change now it's bigger than normal because I've already changed this to a different song for a test but we're going to change the song again um, what you can do is in the download link there'll be a link to this program called um, KVS2OGG um, the game stores songs as KVS files, and this allows you to convert the game songs into OGG, which you can then listen to using a normal audio program. I personally use um, VLC Studios. So all you need to do is drag it on there, pick a save location, like so. So just drag, pick a save location, 
then it will create an OGG file where you can, you can also change it to a wave where you can listen to the song freely listen to the song freely anyway so let's go to my editing folder let's find Seymour's Battle edited already in a folder tip 2 back up the original copy of the file otherwise you're going to have to either re-verify your files or you have to reinstall and uninstall the game also do not touch the save file of NT especially if you do not have um, Steam save, Steam cloud save sync on because the city bans you if you edit the save file and it doesn't sync up with the Steam cloud save file that is the detection for triggering a ban on the game so don't ever edit the save file if you don't want to get banned editing the in-game files are perfectly fine however um, anyway so this is the file I'm gonna be editing so the first thing you can do, it is an optional step, I personally do this, is open Audacity, which is a free download, um, and then open up the music file in Audacity. And then what I like to do is go to Effects, Amplify, Okay, you have to select all first. I didn't know that. That's new. So select all. Effects. Amplify. And then I like to just slightly turn down the um, audio for the song. Although I honestly think this song might be okay. It doesn't look too loud. So I might actually keep this at the default volume. But if these are really high up, you can use Amplify. Or if you import it into the game and then find out that the amplify is too high you can use this option in audacity to lower it and then you can either export it as a wave or as an mp3 and then we're good so like i said i think we're okay so we're not going to bother with that one next thing you need to do is open up your kvzs to ogg click on tool there'll be an option to convert OTG, MP3 or WAVE back to the KVs S format and this is the format we need to convert in order for it to read into Cilia NT so for me it's an MP3 um, find where my file is located so I need to go back into my Seymour Battle edited Aqua Battle Kingdom Hearts 3 click open then it'll ask you to save I generally just save in the same location as you'll recognize which file is which because it will simply, um, it will be the file that isn't recognised by music track. Um, once it's done, it will pop up, and you're done. Next thing you need to do is, you need to grab the name of the original file, copy it, and change your KVS file that you just created to that name and get rid of the KVS format otherwise if you don't get rid of the KVS it will not read in Decilia NT we must get rid of the KVS so this is sort of slightly in a way re-encrypting it it's weird but it, this is required Windows will warn you change the file extension it might become unusable just click yes change the name we're almost done We've got one more thing we need to do. Um, another additional step that you need to do in order to fully make the file usable is you need to do a little bit of hex editing. Um, it's very simple. You All you need to do is copy and paste something. Um, so I'll leave a link in the download to HXD, which is a free to download hex editor. Um, just open it up and drag your original file onto there and it will bring up the hex code what you need to do is copy everything before the KOVS section 
the reason we have to do this, this is the bit of hex code that allows Dissidia to recognize that it is its own file and it can play that file. If this is not included, the file will not play in your game. So this must be done. Once you've done that, you then grab the file you made and then open it. And you'll see the KVOES is m the stuff before it is missing. So click so your cursor is before the K in KOVS and paste. It will warn you that this operation changes the file size. Do you want to proceed? Click OK. And then the red will show everything that's been changed. Now we've done that. All we have to do is cl simply click save on this file. And then we can close this. And then after that, finally, all we simply need to do is grab our created file and copy it over to our Dissidia folder. And that is it. Now if we open Dissidia NT, let me turn my um, let me turn my volume down for OBS before we get completely blown up by the OBS sound. Go into customization. Said battle music, edit music list. Now, if we click on Seymour's battle, Seymour's theme has now been replaced with Aqua's theme from Kingdom Hearts 3. And that is, that is pretty much it. Now you can go ahead and use that music in game and say it. Um, and that's pretty much how you edit music. It's actually really simple. So once again, thank you for Saren for showing the uh, method on how to um, edit music in this year NT and hope this guide is a little bit helpful if you've got any questions feel free to put them in the comments below and I will answer the questions for you so for now oh this is Stevie Rex signing out and I will see you in the next one see you later guys